When Anna and Bernard acquired their new house, the presence of an old barn at the back of the property was not welcomed by Anna. However, her husband Bernard was delighted by the potential of that seemingly neglected space. The barn would become Bernard's secret refuge, harboring a well-kept secret that would only be revealed after his tragic death. Hello, my friends. This is Revenge Story Times. I hope you enjoy this story. Anna and Bernard clung tightly to each other, their eyes filled with tears as they watched the firefighters battle the voracious flames that mercilessly devoured the house, which had been their sanctuary for the past ten years. It was a terrifying and mesmerizing spectacle. The fire that now consumed their home had started due to a failure in the electrical system, a small spark had turned into a torrent of destruction, consuming all the precious moments and memories they had accumulated over the years. In a moment of pure adrenaline, the couple managed to grab only a few essential keepsakes before fleeing the overwhelming flames. Anna, with trembling hands, held the wedding album that represented the beginning of their journey together. Each page of that album was a testament to the love they had shared and to the promises made on that special day. Bernard, in turn, held a folder filled with important documents, a small part of their life that could still be saved. Anna and Bernard knew that the most important thing at that moment was that no one had suffered serious injuries, but a deep sadness weighed on Anna. The fire had consumed something of immeasurable value to her, a china cabinet, a wooden piece of furniture that had belonged to her beloved grandmother and had been given to her shortly before her passing. For Anna, that china cabinet held precious memories, now lost in the ashes. It was full of recollections from her childhood, when she was just a girl visiting her grandmother's house. The cabinet proudly displayed a collection of glasses and goblets that seemed to have been sculpted from rare diamonds. Her grandmother, a simple woman, reserved these glasses for truly special occasions but always made an exception for Anna. Her grandmother would open the cabinet doors, revealing that gleaming treasure, and allow the girl to choose whichever glass she wanted to use. For Anna, it was more than just choosing a glass, it was as if she was choosing among precious treasures. Anna was fully aware that her grandmother allowing her to use those special glasses was a unique demonstration of love. Those memories were like a warm and comforting refuge in her heart. Now, as she observed what was left of her home, Anna felt a deep pain for the loss of the china cabinet and all the memories it contained. With the fire that consumed their old house, Anna and Bernard faced the need to start a new life in a new home. In the face of this unexpected turn of events, they saw an opportunity to shape their future differently and decided it was time to seek a quieter place, away from the hustle and bustle of big urban centers. Anna and Bernard wanted to find a retreat where they could leave behind the stress of city life, a place where they could enjoy serenity in space. They dreamed of an environment where their beloved dog Fred could run freely, where the children they hoped would one day be part of their family could grow. After an extensive search and much research, Anna and Bernard finally found the perfect home to start their new life. It was a house of simple architecture but radiated an irresistible charm. The land was vast, with a generous lawn in the front and back, offering a wide open space. The neighborhood was exactly what they were looking for, quiet, friendly, and full of families that shared the same values and aspirations. The place was a haven of peace where the sound of birds and the whisper of trees replaced the constant noise of the city. It was an environment where they could put down roots, build a life, and perhaps expand their family in the future. At the back of the yard, hidden under the shadow of the trees, there was an old barn. The space was crammed with countless old things that previous residents had left behind, including broken furniture, rusty tools, and gardening materials accumulated over the years. Anna didn't view that forgotten corner of the yard favorably, and her expression reflected discontent. She couldn't see the potential of that space and proposed a drastic solution. My love, you barely know how to hammer a nail. Why do we need a workshop here? Let's demolish this old barn and turn the space into something useful. But Bernard, with his optimistic outlook, saw the barn differently. He believed that space could be transformed into something special. With a smile on his lips, he responded confidently, Anna, after I finish organizing everything, you won't recognize this place. I can learn to handle tools and turn this barn into an organized storage area and even a workshop for small projects. Let's give this space a chance. Somewhat reluctantly, Anna finally agreed with Bernard's idea of turning the old barn into a usable space. As the days went by in the new house, they began to appreciate the slower pace of life that place offered. 
In the spacious backyard, they cultivated a small garden, providing an array of possibilities for growing teas, vegetables, and fresh herbs. Bernard was fortunate to work remotely most of the time, with only a few days a week required to commute to the company's office. This allowed him to make the most of the serenity of the new environment. Anna, on the other hand, was a language teacher and also taught her classes online a few days a week. Bernard would set aside some time to work on the barn. Many of the accumulated old items were discarded, however, Anna noticed that Bernard was also investing in new equipment, acquiring tools and utensils that seemed beyond what was necessary. Why these new tools, Bernard, she asked curiously. He would smile and deflect with a mysterious air. Just a few new tools, my dear. You never know when we might need them, right? Her surprise grew, and a small shipment of wood arrived one day. Bernard explained, I'm building some shelves to better organize things here, Anna. This will help us keep everything in order and make it easier when we need something. Anna was willing to help Bernard organize the barn space, but her husband always refused. Anna, the place is still very dirty and cluttered. Just the other day, I even saw a rat running around there. Once it's cleaner and more organized, you can come in and help me. Anna had a deep fear of rats, and the idea of entering a place where those rodents might be present was out of the question for her. Three years had passed since the couple moved into the new house, and time seemed to have strengthened their love and commitment to each other even more. That Friday, they were celebrating their wedding anniversary, a special day that deserved to be commemorated in an intimate and meaningful way. Bernard took on the responsibility of preparing a special dinner, while Anna, in turn, would take care of the dessert, adding her personal touch to make the evening even more memorable. That day, Bernard had gone to work at the office, but his mind was focused on what was to come that night. He was anxiously counting the minutes to go back home and reunite with his beloved wife, eager to share a special surprise he had prepared for that day. At half past five in the afternoon, Bernard gathered his things at the office with an anxious smile on his face, ready to go back home and celebrate his wedding anniversary with Anna. He left the office, got on his motorcycle, and began his journey back home. A couple's house was a bit away from the city center, which meant Bernard would have to cover a few kilometers to get there. As he drove, an unexpected rain began to fall, turning the streets into a slippery challenge. Bernard, eager to get home and share the special night with his wife, did not expect that an unforeseen incident could put an abrupt end to his story. The rain made the road treacherous, and visibility was decreasing. Bernard was focused on his motorcycle, trying to keep control amidst the slippery track. Each kilometer seemed like an eternity, and anxiety mixed with worry as he made his way home. Fate would reserve a moment that would change Bernard and Anna's life forever. The circumstances of that night would take an unexpected turn, creating a twist in their love story. That night, instead of the romantic dinner she so eagerly awaited, Anna received a call that left her completely devastated. The voice on the other end of the line brought the worst possible news, an accident had taken the life of her beloved Bernard. Anna's world collapsed before her at that moment. The plans they had made together, the future they had envisioned, all disappeared in an instant. After the painful burial of Bernard, Anna returned to the house alone. Her thoughts seemed like an immense void, and the silence of the house now seemed oppressive. The silence of the house was abruptly interrupted by the insistent sound of the doorbell. Anna, confused and still immersed in her grief, opened the door to find a delivery in Bernard's name. It was a box containing a set of crystal glasses, something beautiful and delicate that left her perplexed. She could not understand why her husband would have made such a purchase before his tragic death. The gesture seemed like an enigma, a mystery left by Bernard. As she held the glasses in her hands, a wave of emotion enveloped her. She knew there was more to be discovered. It was then that her mind turned to the barn, a place Bernard had kept close to her for so long. Anna, with a racing heart and full of expectations, opened the heavy barn doors, expecting to find the dirty and disorganized environment that Bernard had mentioned before. What her eyes found left her utterly speechless. The barn had undergone an incredible transformation, now, instead of chaos, it was an organized and well-equipped workshop and studio. The tools were meticulously arranged on shelves, each in its place. 
As Anna entered the barn, she was astonished to see sketches of projects spread across the workbenches, woodworking magazines carefully stacked, and everything in perfect order. At the back of the barn, she saw something that left her completely surprised and emotional, a china cabinet exactly like the one she had owned and that had been consumed by the flames of the fire. Her husband, who had never shown any interest or skill in manual work, had learned the art of woodworking and built with his own hands a replica of the beloved china cabinet she had lost. Tears of emotion began to stream down Anna's face as she absorbed the magnitude of Bernard's gesture. He had done this in secret. Anna's heart filled with a mixture of emotions as she remembered Bernard's words on the day of the accident, when he mentioned that he had a special gift for her. The china cabinet, which now stood in the barn, not only brought precious memories of her childhood with her grandmother but had also become a symbol of her husband's love. Anna realized that the china cabinet was much more than a material object, it was a powerful symbol of love and affection. It was a reminder of her happy childhood, when her grandmother would allow her to use those special glasses because she wanted to show her love and appreciation for her granddaughter. It was also a reminder of her husband's deep love, he had taken the time to learn such a complex skill just to give her a special surprise, to show how much he loved her. She understood that our gestures can be grand or simple, but what truly matters is that they are motivated by love. It is these love-driven gestures that endure in people's memory and hearts. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 4 to let us know how much you like the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.